What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Dragon Ball Legends video on Dragon Ball Central. Today, we're going to be talking about why the Rising Girls Volume 3 banner and the Maiden Force of Love banner are actually much better than people are giving them the credit for. Now, I will say a few people are really going to bat for it, but right now, at this point in time, I don't feel like people are really giving these banners as much credit as they maybe should be. And uh, just with a few other banners in mind that are in recent memory, I think that it's worth talking about. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So first and foremost, guys, I think we should go over the Rising Girls Volume 3 banner. Now, first off, important to note here, we only have seven sparkings on this banner at 7%. That means that all of them are at 1%. And six of the seven, I would argue, are relevant with the seventh being relevant in early game to mid to late game. You know, if you're if you're a top ranked player, you're probably not going to be playing pan. Let's be honest. You know, it's probably just not going to happen. Also, uh, you know, maybe Kale's a little bit outdated. Maybe Videl's a little, little bit outdated, even though she's still a really, really crazy powerful character. Uh, but Blue Android 18 is really, really solid. Bulma Youth is really, really solid, albeit again, it's kind of a, a tiny bit outdated, but Again, you know, you can make any of these characters work on a female warriors team. And that's important to note here that every single sparking you can get on this banner are relevant and powerful enough to hold their own until relatively high ranks, uh, especially most of them. You know, I, I would say four of the seven are, you know, able to be used easily in top ranked gameplay. So all in all, you're looking at a team that synergizes entirely together. And the great thing about it is it's all on one banner. You don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I'm going to get a regen character and I don't play regen at all. Or I'm going to get a God key character and I don't play God key at all or something like that. When you're summoning on this banner, if you get sparkings, you're going to get a female warrior tag team character. That is very very important to note and if you're a new player you absolutely need to be spending on these banners not necessarily spending money but just your chrono crystals you get from playing the game on you know just your logins and and just going ahead and going through all the story missions and everything like that you're gonna amass a decent amount of crystals and it's really worth summoning on one of these two banners depending on you know which one you prefer or if you get lucky summon on both of them i'd even go so far as saying that from just a full team comp point of view you are looking at a few melee types a few support types and, and a few defense types so really it's about as good as it's going to get from just having a full team available on one banner all right guys maiden force of love banner is a lot of the same situation here but with a few different focuses so again we're looking at seven percent over seven sparkings that again is amazing it's really really good guys to have only seven sparkings at one percent each instead of a pool of like 50 sparkings or 25 sparkings or whatever that they usually have on banners this is not something that they usually do and it really is worth mentioning that so Kakunsa and rosie are obviously fantastic rebrianne goes well on that team again an, an amazing trio uh and and i really think that you need to check into the unique abilities on these characters if you haven't already because they synergize so amazingly it actually is ridiculous how powerful they are you'll get bodied constantly by these guys and uh it's definitely not even competitive in a lot of cases just definitely check everything out and they buff each other after death and it's just ridiculous so moving on we're not going to talk about that anymore but just check it all out okay you just need to trust me on this they're really good okay great salmons who's going to be a red character in a predominantly red and yellow meta okay well rebrand's already blue so you've got that type coverage now great salmons who is going to be one of the few female warrior tag team members that is red and is able to counter hit is able to counter full power frieza even though she's not amazingly powerful she's not up to speed on the power creep she's still really good and with a decent female warrior tag team you are going to be looking at a huge amount of damage output even though maybe she wasn't as appreciated as a lot of other releases at first glance so yeah that's worth mentioning too moving on cauliflower maybe a little bit outdated still does a lot of damage though and with the continual support we get for the teams that she goes on i will say is going to continue to be an absolute powerhouse whenever she gets new members for her team chi chi you know considering the sun family team is kind of the predominant team overarching over um overall of dragon ball you know the the predominant family of dragon ball i definitely think chi chi's always going to be relevant you go on over to her unique abilities if you guys aren't aware of this uh 80 damage inflicted just a flat 80 percent damage inflicted bonus against sun family tag so every single time she gets buffed by her team it's going to be just amplified by the fact that she gets 80 percent damage buff against sun family so whenever a sun family tag team is relevant chi chi is going to be relevant just as a matter of fact like that that's just how it is 
and then my is one of the best supports in the game so even to this day i would recommend using her on a female warrior tag team or even a future tag team she's really really good and was again very very underrated when she was released so all in all what are we looking at here well in my opinion two of the best banners that this game has had in recent memory and people just aren't giving it enough credit in my opinion so i just felt like i needed to make a video talk a little bit about it but what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below if you have summoned or haven't summoned on it why did you get anything good if you did summon on it did you get absolutely shafted by the banners get very unlucky or did you get really really lucky pull everything you wanted with just a thousand crystals because i know some of you guys get lucky every single banner but uh yeah let me know down in the comments below i'm actually really curious to hear your thoughts on this banner and generally like if you agree with my opinions on how good it is or if you just disagree and think that it's a sort of a trap banner because i've heard that term thrown around a lot with these banners and i very very much disagree i think that new players definitely need to be summoning on this if not re-rolling for it and long time players especially if you have a female warrior tag team definitely should be summoning on these banners they are that good but that's gonna be about it for this one guys thank you so much for watching as always i hope you enjoyed today's video again let me know what you thought down in the comment section below and if you have any ideas for future dragon ball legends videos you'd like to see on the channel drop them below as well i will see you in the next one until then guys peace